Um, who do you think nil-nil would favor? Is it the nature of kind of playing Division Two soccer in North America? He's found that in his captain. To his keeper. And Paul May will move it forward for Shane McElhaney. Back through the center circle it goes. Ball forward for Ryan Williams. Well, I think third third year head coach Jason Bent has to be pleased with how his team has been able to. Del Campo back for Rose Boom again. There's right. McElhaney. 45 yards out. Good ball forward on the right, Ryan Williams, byline. But I think I'm going to be okay in the third game. That youth component, it's it's priceless. You can't compare it. Rose Boom is livid and going right to the referee with his complaint. Linking up as Howarth gets this to McElhaney. Ahead for Bruno. Glass. No, and he's given Ottawa a good degree of kind of consistency and continuity in that. Rose Boom lays it off. Here's McElhaney. Good possession here for Ottawa. We'll see if they can get that. Force back to Callum Irving. Irving to Rose Boom. Now McElhaney to Lou Bouillera. With them, 85 with Doncaster Rovers. Joined the FC Edmonton. Coming over from Irisside. Dundalk. So Fury back. Attacking here, 39th minute, nil-nil. Uh, come to love here in the Queen City. They want to try to take away that, that option and force them to play a little bit more. Sem is it for Ottawa for Del Campo on the right side, McElhinney. Just inside the TFC 2 half. In the middle, Jamar Dixon. Header played back, Chambers looking for it, but Venter is there. In behind the two wider defenders. Hume with a little... Bingo. Now Vasquez. Morrow down the left side, Vasquez gives it away. Here's Ryan Williams now, 35 yards out. See? And soccer news from around the world. Tune into Ottawa's weekly soccer man. It feels much warmer. It feels very hot out here, and we know the players are feeling it too. We saw them come out to warm ups. Played back by Tainter to the keeper Cavaluzzo. McElhaney with possession on the right foot, down the line to Barden. First time. Step for step with him was Ramon Martin Del Campo, was Callum Irving, the Ottawa keeper. There's no trouble with it. Now McElhaney on the right side for... We'll catch up with her after the break. See if she can get an interview. Trying to play this wide right for Dixon. Didn't get there. Comes back. Struggle to compete uh, with the other team. teams. If you're just joining us, Bethlehem is here. It's a through pass for Chambers. Broken up. Get players into the first team. Players like Raheem Edwards. Whereas for the Ottawa Fury, they've, they want to win the league. They want to get it. Andrews come on, as you mentioned, shows Jason Bent going for a second goal. Andrews more of an attacking player than maybe some of the others. We'll keep it alive. Kadeem slides it into the middle looking for Kooning. Couldn't connect. But they've got some work to do. I'm hearing uh, four. Two. Up in the table. Up to partly cloudy, but uh, Era. put a cut back and uh, didn't fly. Bruna couldn't put away the penalty, and now with 10 men, Fury clearance by Yombi, and Richmond will get it back. SK, but oh, good read by McElhaney to win it back. Harrisburg pushes forward. Keep in mind, there's also a Champions League campaign. We'll have to see how the team's doing in MLS play, how much of an emphasis they're going to put on the Champions League. So, and then. Good turn by Bezicourt. Wanting to slip one. 
First time for Flemings. Better one by Yeah, you're right. Consistency is the key in that statement right there. Not Metzger will change the point of attack. An unbeaten run in MLS of eight games now, of which they've won seven. The now Endo down the right side. Endo's ball in is flipped away by McElhenney. Uh, Ottawa seemed a little bit lost right now. I think he did. Don't worry, he'll get an invoice from St. Louis <laughs> FC. Tag right footed in swinger from Danny to Prima. He delivers. And McElhaney gets it. It was also approved by the producer. I sent him my attire before. Bill U. Clearing law, looking for Brandon Allen. There by Dixon. Griffith sends it to the back post. McElhaney heads it awkwardly across into the box. Come out on the field with tonight as Sharpie tosses it in. Very well. You see the screen, it's only half of the screen is lit now. Their heels again, and Del Campo having trouble. The ball for Ristoff, and oh, very important. Forward, it's an awkward one. Williams turns, looks up on the hatch. UK helped Plymouth Argyle with promotion from both D2 and D3. A 30-year-old, a 35-year-old, yes, you're going to feel it on your legs. But a 20, 22-year-old, 3-year-old, you're most likely going to be that this year for St. Louis. Little space here for Guy Band. Dummy through. All edge of the area. Goes through to Ricardo. Half an hour in. Still nil-nil at TD Place. This is the type of player that receives the ball. And rarely loses possession, but we haven't seen much of him today and ultimately it could be because obviously he's a little weary He's tired, but good work there To maintain possession after a good delivery from Roseboom into the penalty area Send our congratulations out to Shane and his well now fiance or They were recently engaged during that break that Fury FC enjoyed Counter. all from Bill you in a space and Shane McElhaney who takes does have two goals, two assists this year. Cross for McElhaney. Ahead towards Barden. Does well to keep in seven games. You have to go back to May 19th. Over the top that step on the defender, but it comes back. Slipping was an information from around the league. Tune into USL Coast to Coast with Mike Watts Mondays at 9 p.m. Eastern on. I was just fired up to listen to Mike Watts. <laughs> and you are one good agent to serve that one match suspension. Interestingly enough, both red cards at all. I don't know. We'll have, we'll have to ask. Connor McGregor's going to get smoked. You heard it here first. Inside the Ottawa penalty area. This wide right, McElhenney inside the pass is found straight. He heads that one down the line. But Edmondson really up against it now with 10 men. Back to nil nil. Favored Edmonton in the first event between these two. First meeting. It's nil nil here and 3 1 is uh, 25 67 the attendance tonight, which has been. 5 0 against Columbus on Friday in Major League Soccer, an unbeaten run in MLS of eight games now, of which they've won seven. The Fury have won their last three in a row in all competitions, scoring 11 goals in the. To Edward. But couldn't keep control. Osorio's ball chested down and. And forward is McElhenney. Oh, good feet there from the iron. Your touch line. Goes down, gets to McElhenney. Now to Lance Rose. Here at TD Place. 
of Northern Ireland. Looking it forward to the... Roseboom couldn't step in off the cleat of Ombi. Ombi was going hard for McElhenney. Northern Irish playing with it. They needed to use that interception and take something up on the counter and get something going. Halfway line, McElhenney. And Ottawa trying to regroup now. Down. Rose Boom just helps it along there. McElhenney out. Opportunity for him to play here today. He's seen a lot of time as a sub. See this, this game, these points mean a lot for both teams. I know Ottawa are in a little bit of transition with the new coach. End of the first half there. Not far away from the hour mark here at BMO Field and Toronto FC leading off to a fury by two goals to nil, 3-2 on aggregate. Catches Ryan Williams has it 25 yards out. He'll get this back. And Ronaldo. 65th minute of play. Here is Marcus Epps now on the left side. Venter defending. Excellent takeaway by Kyle Venter, the captain. On the field, trying to get the seams, trying to get Ottawa turned around a little bit. Ottawa a little bit more of a direct team, big physical back line. And on the 10th against FC Edmonton. Followed by uh, a